Okay, this is going to be my review on my low face turning octahedron. Now, it came with this stand thingy, which basically is just this plastic thing with um, my logo tape on it. And I thought, hey, why not? I'll keep it just as stand. And, um, it came with two, like, one on the bottom and one on the top. And I don't have the box anymore, but click on the Mario Face Turning Octahedron to go see the, um, unboxing of this and don't worry it will not take you straight from this video to the other video but it will open it up in a new window or tab so yeah now that seen the unboxing if you um just stop and watch this. Just stop the, this video and go watch the unboxing. Here is the review of the um, octahedron. It came with this instruction booklet, which unfortunately it's all in Taiwanese. And it's unusable for me unfortunately and it came with this lube my lube which as you can see from this bottle I've used most of it up compared to this bottle <laughs> that's surprising So, when I first got it, it was like really, really tight. Like, I mean, it, it just was tight. I, w I could not even do finger tricks that easy, like this. And another thing that I dislike about this is that, one, it has white and black stickers on this white puzzle. And now I brought it to schools and a couple other events like that. And I've got it. one of my friends managed to do this with no. It's not the corner turning off the engine. It's due to the fact that I have it at a loose tension that it can be turned. And, yeah. I modded this so that there wouldn't be very many lockups. And I'll explain how I do that once I show the mechanism. Which would be in a couple of minutes for me, but a couple of seconds for you. Okay, so I'm showing you the mechanism of this Mario face turning off the engine. Here's a corner, an edge right here, and then here's the center piece. Yeah. Looks very plain. Yeah. And then here's the core down in there. And if you can see, blue core. Basically, the core is not what you would expect for a regular cube. The core 
is I'm not sure oh the core is like of a um truncated or well a cube octahedron shape that's what it is yeah a cube octahedron shape and then on all the triangles all eight triangles has the centers that rotate around it and then earlier I said I modded it basically what I did was if you can see right here this part was very pointy now what I did was I sanded them down on all 12 of these edge pieces and basically what that does it's not catch on this hole on the corner very easily. And let me reassemble it and show you more of the features that it has. Okay, so now it's assembled and I'll show you the logo. Essentially the logo has faded, but I'll show you what the original logo looks like on this. I'm not sure if you can see, but kind of hard to explain. But yeah, you get the idea. Has the um, Taiwanese Mario logo on top, then Mario, and then the scrambled cube at the bottom. Corner cut. Up to here, decent, done good. Now, I figured out how to solve this about maybe a week ago. Yeah, about a week ago, and I have a solve video, which unfortunately had some music, some, um, German music in it, and, um, unfortunately, that, um, music is copyrighted, which, it has a certain copyright law on it, which, it's not allowed in certain countries, that kind of sucks, and, uh, Currently, it only has seven views, which that sucks really badly because I wanted to get more. And this, I figured out how to solve it. And it took me about maybe a day or two just to figure out the solution, memorize it. Just because you basically essentially, um, Rotating the center pieces, centers and edges. Basically, you're rotating these pieces and inserting pieces to rotate around. And but first, you have to solve the corners first. And yeah, it's very easy to learn because you're doing basically almost the same algorithm over and over and over again now on the video the solve video I got like 4 minutes 21 seconds which is not that bad and yeah that's like my fastest so far on this and also sticker quality Stick of peeling there is um basically overall it's very good. Just like a tiny bit of chips, but not that much. Um I recommend you buy this but I'm not sure exactly where you would get it except for the Mario website. Which it's kind of hard for the American 
for most people would to get it. Except for Taiwanese people. Yeah. So yeah. That's the review of this. I got this at Nationals for fifteen dollars. Which is not that bad of a deal. Yeah.